Hello, zany friends. I am Marshall. Laney's behind the camera, and we are going to be showing you what we just picked up at Trader Joe's. We, uh, we go there every couple of weeks just to pick up everything that we need for those couple of weeks and oh, we got some fun stuff this time. So let's dive in. So we're starting here on the end. Um, I wanted more of these chocolate wedges. These are so good. You like them too, right? Yeah, especially considering they're 73% chocolate, like cocoa, that makes them actually really good for your nervous system. Mm -hmm. So we got some bananas and some avocados this week uh, because we love making guacamole. Um, so we got some of that. And they really are very inexpensive at Trader Joe's because they're like 19 cents a pound. Mm. Yeah. We got some spaghetti. Yeah, lots of spaghetti. Mm -hmm. um, and also one of the things that they have is these pre-made burritos, wraps, and salads. And these you can just keep in the freezer for a long time. So we have them as backup and they have black bean and Monterey Jack cheese and pollo asado. That's basically what Marshall takes for lunches a lot of times, right? Along with these. Uh, these pre-made salads are just really good for healthy eating on the go. Uh, they include any dressings you need. They have, some of them have meats or cheeses and stuff like that, mm. really good for you. And then this uh, chive and onion cream cheese, I have been really loving this lately. Uh, I feel like I can eat this with vegetables. I can eat this with like crackers. It's just the perfect little afternoon snack. Along with this, so this is the cauliflower and jalapeno dip, which believe me, um, if you don't like cauliflower, uh, I, I don't necessarily always like the taste of cauliflower, but this is actually really good. Not very spicy. So I love this also with uh, some crackers, just a mm -hmm. little afternoon. Yep. Uh, and speaking of crackers, we have some red chili scalped crackers. Is this is this new? I think it's new. I haven't it? tried it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to dive into those, but they, they look kind of like Ritz crackers with just a little bit more grain going on there. Mm -hmm. yep. um, we've got rice, lots of brown jasmine rice, corn poblano, poblano chowder. Now this is what I have for lunches. I usually have soups because mm -hmm. it's just easy for me to uh, heat them up and eat them when I'm working from home so I get that. Mm -hmm. And for breakfast you tend to have like eat egg bites mm -hmm. and quiches. Let me show you what they actually look like because these are all microwavable. Mm -hmm. Very easy to put together in the morning. I have heard these are very similar to the Starbucks uh, mm -hmm. sous vide egg, uh, so I wanted to try them. That's new to us, actually. We haven't tried that before. Okay. We also have some peanut butter. Now, um, I've kind of did some price comparison between this and the Target brand, and this has comparable amounts of sugar, but really, when you have it with uh, the unsalted version, it's literally just peanuts. Mm. Um, and it's a dollar ninety nine for one of these. Oh. So we got three of them, and it's about equal to one of the larger ones you would That's get awesome. from Market Pantry. So this right here, this lemonade, I actually wanted to uh, try out because it's low calorie and it's made with organic lemon juice. So I wanted to try this out as well because it just sounded really good. Yeah, it does sound really tasty. Mm -hmm. For the pasta, we've got some arrabbiata sauce. Yes, I've heard this is really good. I think maybe we've had this once before, but yes, not a have. long time. Yeah. Um, we were trying to get a different kind of barbecue sauce, but they're unfortunately all the way out of it. So they just have these TJ's organic uh, barbecue sauce. The one that we were looking for was a pineapple one. Yeah, that's, really good. they didn't have at that moment. Okay. And vegetable stir fry. And this is a gochujang vegetable stir fry with zucchini spirals. Um, just one or two of these is enough for a whole meal with family. Uh, you just have to add a protein and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then of course I love tea. So I had to get uh, this tea to try. So it's a blood orange rooibos, uh, caffeine free tea. I, it's just getting that time of year where I'm probably going to have tea like every single day. Mm -hmm. And then we have this freeze dried berry medley, um, which you know, that's just great for snacks, but you can also possibly like throw it in with real fruit to make a smoothie. Well, actually what we bought this for was I saw on uh, Instagram somewhere, somebody had tried to make the Starbucks pink drink oh. with uh, like a coconut milk and tea. And then these freeze dried, uh, actually they use strawberries, but I thought it would be interesting to use those instead. Mm -hmm. And so that is my plan to try this, making it myself. We also grabbed these Peruvian potato chips. Now we'd gotten these the last time we had been there, 
But uh, unfortunately, Lainey couldn't get a, ta a taste of them, and Corey just loved them so much, they <laughs> vanished. Yes. So we went, we made sure to grab another one just for her. My chips of choice, though, are these ghost pepper potato chips. They're spicy, but even though they say ghost pepper, they're not that spicy. They're, they're not bad. that bad. And then we got this really fun thing. This is the Haunted House Spooky Tree. It has LEDs in it, and this is going to be perfect for this time of year. We're slowly trying to build our spooky house decorations. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we also got these pumpkin tree right here. We're going to put that in a vase mm -hmm. and have those out. But I'm super excited for those. Aren't these so cute? They're just they're really cute. Yeah, it's, it's just a nice pick. Yeah. So Corey likes uh, granola bars as a snack in the afternoon so it looks like he got these uh two different types of granola bars mm -hmm. or did you get one no no they're both for both him for him and he also likes these soft and juicy mangoes these are actually really uh mm -hmm. cheap as far as dried fruit goes that's why we get it from trader joe's because they are a lot uh cheaper than getting like dried fruit at a grocery store and they they do advertise properly these are really soft and juicy even though they're like dried fruit they really have a lot they really to them. are um, these turculous protein patties, which are just great for being a protein in the gochujang mm -hmm. or uh, other kinds of stir fries, but you can also make a burger out of it. That's correct. Okay, so these mushrooms. Okay, so if you ever have that issue where like you buy fresh mushrooms and it totally like kills it before you have a chance to use it, uh, sometimes we have that issue. So we always like to pick up a little bit of these frozen mushrooms to use in like stir fries and things like that that we have. Mm -hmm. And for That's making super. smoothies. Yep. So yes. it's a, that. These are really good. This has like mangoes in it too. And then we got some raspberries, it looks like, and some uh, strawberries as well. And that's for smoothie stuff. This is my favorite snack mix mm -hmm. right now, the Many Things snack mix. So I got some of that because I love it. And also for lunches, we would have these Southwestern chopped salads. These are more pre-made mixes, but rather than being in the in the plastic tins, these are typically good enough that with a that if you bring your own container, these are probably good enough for like two people. Mm -hmm. You just split between the two of them, and yeah, it's sure. good to go. Uh, we've also got the vegetable vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit, um, which has its own sauces in it too. That's good stuff. We got some soup. So these are some more soups that I got. There's a spicy pozole verde, which I really like. The harvest chili, which I don't think I've tried yet. It does have pumpkin in it, so I'll see how I like that. And then this is the unexpected broccoli cheddar soup. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love this stuff and I got a bunch of it. I also really like the butternut uh, pumpkin soup. This will this will get me. Over here, he has the black tea with peach juice beverage. I really wanted to try this because it sounds really delish. I also got some of these organic mixed berry because not only are they good for like mixing in alcohol or whatever, but you know, juice. Yeah, yeah. just a juice pouch to make you feel like a kid again. And this is some harvest grains just to mix in, especially with like soups. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a hamburger soup that we make that uh, you always want to put something like this in there and just yeah. to give it some extra textures. And so that's all the stuff that we got in one trip uh, over at Trader Joe's. Uh, if you like this, please uh, tell us. Uh, if you have some other places you'd like to see us shop at and maybe, you know, pick up other groceries, come join us for grocery shopping. Uh, let us know down below in the, uh, in the chat. And, uh, well, until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.